Welcome to Newsday. And to our top story, and ahead of next week's budget, Climate Change Minister Greg Combey has confirmed the government will not be going ahead with carbon price-related tax cuts as planned in 2015. Mr Combey says the budget will revise down revenue forecasts given the collapse in the carbon price internationally. He argues a lower price will mean a lower cost to taxpayers and therefore the additional compensation will be deferred. Let's go to Canberra now where Sky News political reporter Tom Connell joins me. And Tom, the tax-free threshold is the latest victim of budget cuts. Yes, Selena, this threshold was lifted already by Labor from $6,000 to $18,200, so a big increase, but it was scheduled in 2015 to be lifted again up to $19,400, but that's now not going to happen. Greg Combe stressing today it has been deferred, not shelved. He says this is because of a much lower than anticipated carbon price in Europe. That, of course, is the scheme Australia will link to in 2015. Uh, they don't have an actual number for what they're going to revise Australia's estimated price to be at that time or the European price but uh, Greg Combe says the fact that that price in Europe at the moment is hovering around the $4 mark and nowhere near the $29 mark a ton the Australian government was expecting uh, they are going to have to defer this tax-free threshold increase or effectively a tax cut. Have a listen to the Minister speaking on this this morning. Now because uh, there will be no additional anticipated increase in costs to households in 2015-16 with a lower carbon price forecast. The budget will defer an anticipated further round of additional related tax cuts. Those tax cuts, which of course are two years away, uh, were to be in the order of $1.59 per week for most people earning up to $80,000 a year. So the minister arguing this package also has to essentially be revenue neutral, that money coming in from the carbon tax pays for some of the compensation and so there's going to be less of that compensation necessary because of this lower than expected carbon price. Now as I said, the previous figure the government was working on was $29 a tonne when it comes to the European price when that scheme links to Australia's in 2015. We don't have a new figure for what the government's working on yet. We're expecting that in the budget but it's expected to be at about $15 a tonne, so just a little bit more than half, a very big drop. So as a result, there could even be further cuts as a result of the fact that that has been, uh, yeah, just a little bit more than half of that. The Minister hinting there could be more to come in the budget in about a week's time. Have a listen. There'll be offsetting savings, as I say, for the, uh, uh, the changes that we will announce in the budget, the changes to the uh, forecasts that will be announced in the budget. Uh, when we introduced this package, it was broadly budget neutral and we'll maintain that approach, but those details will be contained in the budget. So a hint there, Selena, perhaps more to come. We'll find out on budget night.